gnocchi, one of my favorite comfort foods. With three simple ingredients, the outcome is a light, fluffy potato dumpling. And who doesn't love dumplings? I'm using a russet potato. For this recipe, you would use about a pound of potato, one egg, and 100 grams of flour. Uh, so here I am, just scooping out this potato. I'm gonna try to save the inside a little bit, and I can utilize the skins later to fill with whatever I so choose. Now, if you don't have a ricer, you can always push your baked potatoes through a mesh strainer. I recommend doing this while it's warm if it's gonna be a little easier to work with. So I'm adding my flour. I'm also going to add some salt. And in goes my egg. And there's the start of my gnocchi. I'm going to do it with a spoon to save my hands a little bit of cleanup, uh, but you're welcome to do this on the counter. So you want to lightly incorporate all of these ingredients into your dough. Uh, you don't want to overmix this. The beautiful thing about a gnocchi is its light, fluffy texture, and that's achieved by not overmixing and strengthening the gluten in the flour. So at this point, I've got a base dough. It can be a little mealy. I don't have to worry about that. I want to lightly knead my dough, not too much. If you need to, add a little bit of flour. But remember, you want this to maintain a little bit sticky to the touch. I've cut my dough ball into quarters. So I'm gonna start by rolling with my hands, and as I roll, I'm pushing out the dough with my fingers. Now remember, a little sticking is okay. You want it to be a little sticky. What I do like to do is have a little bit of flour on my cutting board that I dip in my pastry cutter. This allows it to not stick, or helps it to not stick. So when I cut, I cut and I push it away. Cut, push it away. I've got some boiling water here. I'm gonna add to that a little bit of salt. This is my opportunity to season the gnocchi when it absorbs the water. I'm also going to add my gnocchi to the water. I don't wanna overcrowd the pan because it'll all stick together. The nice thing about gnocchi is it tells you when it's done by coming to the surface. I like to take it from after it's been boiled and put it into a pan uh, with a little bit of butter, crisp it up, brown it up, and add whatever flavorings I want to. Today I'm using sage. I've got my brown butter and sage gnocchi here. I'm gonna finish with a little bit of pecorino, and that's all it needs. <laughs> 